I'm not gonna hack your Wi-Fi, but I'll give you a little example of what I could do. Anything with a battery and a connection, a remote connection, in any type of way where it reaches the outside of that device is hackable or has been hacked. This is a Flipper Zero with some uh, custom modifications and uh, it does a lot. So this is just a proof of concept device, but when you start to add your own little additions onto it like this, let me, uh, let me enable, for example, Wi-Fi. I'm not gonna hack your Wi-Fi, but I'll give you a little example of what I could do. I'm not gonna shut your network down. I can show you on my phone or you could look at your phone, but you'll see that instead of me mirroring your network, I just created a bunch of fake networks. So all of these networks here, they probably appear to be legitimate, right? Yeah. But they're not. These are all fake networks? They're all powered by me. So as soon as you connect to any of those, I have your password, I have anything in between. And you just, oh man. So this is, is this how people are stealing information? This is one in, of many ways. In airports. Oh yeah, I mean, airport, Starbucks, you know, anyone that connects to a network, you know, think it's their network and they're gonna connect to me instead. Holy shit. That's just one of many Wi-Fi attacks. So there's many ways. And, and this right here, what, what does this look like to you? It's a thumb drive. It's not a thumb drive. So if I open this up, there we go. Inside of this, you see the SD card in there? Yeah. So when this is plugged into a computer, the computer believes that it is a, a keyboard. So it's an HID device. It's an HID device. I, I, so when I plug this into any computer, it doesn't matter if it's Mac, Linux, Windows, uh, it's gonna not think this is a flash drive and it's gonna start firing off keystroke superhuman speed. So I have a payload configured on here that will automatically install malware on your computer and uh, dump all the passwords out of your browser, save them to FTP file share. It saves those passwords, installs the malware so that I can access your computer later and then i unplug it from your computer i walk away and i'm done is there any way to protect yourself against this shit yeah i mean i would recommend staying up to date you know buying new routers when they come out you know you know new stay up with technology when it comes to your daily i don't know maybe devices or routers, routers. yeah routers what right? else make sure you have a new smartphone if you can afford one laptop make sure you keep it updated computer desktop whatever whatever computer you use make sure you keep it on the latest update patch